Eight years of war has killed over 400,000 people in Syria and forced millions to flee. Those who had nowhere left to run wound up here. So we're just driving through Idlib province, which is the last opposition stronghold in Syria. There is currently a ceasefire in place, but that does not necessarily mean that it's holding. The people who remained include opposition groups and jihadists who are fighting the Syrian regime. But there's also three million civilians who are trapped between a closed Turkish border and Syrian President Bashar al-Assad. We're in one of the largest hospitals in Idlib, and they just have a constant stream of people coming in because over the last couple of days, there's been a number of airstrikes and artillery shelling. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Mustafa's 13. His brother hasn't left his side since he was hit two days ago. What injuries has he sustained? Is he able to communicate? Allah is who do you blame for this situation? Bashar al-Assad and Russia. Russia did call for the latest ceasefire, but previous halts in the fighting have not held, as Assad sees those occupying Idlib as terrorists and has pledged to retake every inch of land back from them. حرك إذا كان لشوف ابني حركة سلم أيوة برافو عليك تمام تمام. Dr. Bazal Alasfa has worked here since the beginning of the revolution and survived four attacks on this hospital. آخر كان استهداف هذا المشفى بعشرة تموز الشهر الماضي لما استهدفوه بطلقات طيارة رشاش. That must have been terrifying. كتير مو شوي يعني لحظة بننسى كل شيء بصفي عنا بس تفكير. The UN tries to protect hospitals and war zones by letting them share their coordinates. But according to an NGO working here, in the past five months, 15 of the medical facilities that shared their locations have been targeted by government or Russian airstrikes and shelling. Must be such a heartbreaking and dangerous job to do what you're doing. أكيد اللي عم تحكي صح يعني هو عمل كتير خطير اللي عم يزيده أكتر هو العبء النفس اللي عم تحمله بصراحة رؤية الأطفال خصوصا بيرحة يعني كان في عنا إصابة لطفل اسمه إسلام صدير على ما أعتقد انتهت بقذيفة فقط وحيدة أدت لنهايتها هذا الشيء بيخلينا دوما إنه عم نشعر هالأطفال عم تروحي أطفالنا بدون أي مبرر يعني بصراحة بس لغاية القتل والتهجير فقط ليس إلا. Photos of Islam circulated on social media. We found her family still living in what was left of their home. So this is the living area? Well, here in the salon, mother here, mother here, daughter here. Come on, man. I mean, here we are. We're putting the zipper on it. We're putting it here. It's so insane to think that yesterday this was a perfectly livable home. I can't even imagine how you feel stood here. 
إيش إحساسي إحساسي لو كاني ميت أهوان لو كاني أنا ميت أهوان يعني. Do you remember the moment that this happened? ما بعدين عم ناكل نشرب شاي بعد ما تغدينا هون الغدا لسا ما جنا ما 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 حسينا ادري من زين صاروا بنت صغيره استشهدت دفناها والباقي كله بالمستشفى كل الليل للتنتين بالليل قاعد عند ابو الراح وجابوني Despite losing a home and a daughter Islam's family can't afford to move anywhere else. But many families are leaving. Raja and her seven children have survived until now by sheltering under their house. So this is where you come when there's shelling? In an attempt to save their lives, Raja is now taking her family 60 miles towards the Turkish border to move in with relatives. That's as far as they can go. But it's still in Idlib, and so still in Assad's crosshairs. How does it feel to be leaving today? What about your neighbors? Are there any people here who are still left or has everyone moved? As the ceasefire crumbles, the possible annihilation of Idlib looms. which could send another wave of desperate refugees across Syria's borders and beyond. Those who remain have run out of options. This is her grave. This <laughs> هاي عند بشار الاسد ارهابي عاب يضرب الحاضنه والاطفال والنساء هو وبوتين يوميا فوق ال20 طفل او 30 او 40 عاب يقتلوا ما عاب يقتلوا ارهابيين عاب يقتلوا نساء واطفال والله يا ريت ما ضل عايش بس مو بايدي اي ما بدي موت ما بعرف وصيت احفروا لي هون انا هو بقى ايمت الله بريد الحمد لله